So, fighter's not enough for you, huh? Their extra extra attacks and action surges making an easy 8 attacks at 20th level in one turn just won't cut it for you? Feeling like having a reason to speedrun getting kicked out of a DM's game? <laughs> don't worry, I've got your back with this whopping build that'll surely show that fighter and his action surge who's got more attacks. Just don't challenge him to a drinking contest or an arm wrestling match. Welcome to Craig's Forbidden Archives, roll responsibly. Alright, so how do we become a guy who attacks more than a fighter? You might be asking, and if you aren't, then you're probably content with being... Uh, we'll <clears throat> a straight, middle-aged, grizzle-faced, white man with a two-handed sword and a mysterious and or tragic and or blah blah blah. You get the idea. So, sit down and strap in because we're starting at level 1. Put most of your points into charisma and summon to dexterity if you can spare the numbers, and be sure to at least put the bare minimum of 13 into intelligence. So what if our choices are going to be a bad idea? We're not going to die if you're a good noodle. Pick a wizard for first level. Now, hear me out. That sounds like a crack in the head because of how counterintuitive the class is for the amount of attacks, in most cases, we're trying to go for. But you're going to see in a second why we chose this thing to rule the class for our objective. Alright, level 2. Be a Bladesinger wizard. This should be your focus for now. On a side note, either multi-class into Warlock and pick any subclass you desire and at least get Eldritch Blast, or alternatively, survive up to level 4 wizard. It's important that you be a blade singing wizard so you can throw out dice like smoke screens. The reason why I brought this up is due to the fact that if you do double dip in the Warlock like the Min-Maxer who just got off the board after theory crafting their next BBEG nuker, you won't have to deal with using your 4th level wizard, getting a feat to get Eldritch Vomit and making your nasty words hit nastier. But if you do this, you delay getting your wizard levels to 6 and you can't graduate to 3 attacks as soon. Wizard level 6. Stop leveling up wizard now. No, seriously, see that special extra attack Blade Flinger gets? Sure, you can cast Firebolts with it, but why would you do that when you can get three attacks at level 6 thanks to your choice to invest into an ever-evolving machine gun you stole from the aspiring warlock down the alleyway? I'm sure the Diet Soda fighters that shoot magic from their patrons are going to have a great time explaining why they can't Eldritch Blast Gunk anymore. In fact, screw it. That gunk you now own may as well become whatever pointy instrument of stabby, impactful, or emotional death you want. It's dragons and dungeons after all! Send the dragon a bunch of translucent Eldritch bouquets for the funeral, wedding, or whatever event they'll be having. Oh yeah, another note. Make sure that as you level up, you get Eldritch Adept at some point and pick the Eldritch evocation known as Agonizing Blast, so you can make your words come with extra physical and emotional damage. Otherwise, you're going to find out that while your die are making people die, they're not as die-inducing as they could have been in the case you got tired of being nice and went bananas. Alright, now this is the difficult part. And I want you to pay really close attention here. Don't miss this part, because it wouldn't be very excellent for me to repeat this, now would it? Dump the rest of your levels into Fighter. That's it. Okay, what you're really going to be gunning for is at least Fighter 11. If you feel inclined for more spell slots, go for an Eldritch Knight. Otherwise, go for whatever you feel like. Yes, even the basic option. However, the more important parts can't be skipped, so actually listen for this one. Your feats and class features are what's going to define this build for having a one and done 16 attacks on a single turn, but also an attack amount that's already much higher than fighters maximum of 4. And most importantly, you won't have a problem doing it up close. Why should you anyways? That anyone that's stupid enough to get within blasting range of you is going to find out why you started blasting in a second. Feats you should look out for are which include the previously mentioned. Cutting into the video very quickly, me in the future. You do need a level 1 warlock. I apologize for the misinformation, but that's how it's just going to have to be. Eldritch Adept once you get Eldritch Blast, Meta Magic Adept so you can show the world and your DM what the true meaning of pain is, a fighter stance that should be archery for plus two to attack rolls with ranged weapons, which you should be able to get the moment you pick up on fighters, so don't even weasel your way out of this one, buddy. Synergize this by taking the gunner feat to show that you've got more than one way to start blasting in case someone puts up a Geneva Convention against magic machine gun use. While you'll be crippled, you can still attack three times without any surging of actions by turning the convention into a suggestion. Also, you can Jonathan Candlewick someone within five feet of you or less. No more of that wavy arm of yours missing every shot of the wizard standing directly in front of you. Alternatively, in fighting styles, blind fighting style if you want to shoot the invisible guy who never bothered to take a shower for weeks as long as they're within ten feet of you, making your smelly blasters especially biased to an invisible smelly foe. Heal out of that physical and emotional damage, nerd. Also, keep in mind, Gunner might be a good feat to start off with if you're willing to dip into Dex to aid your funny aim, as it gives you a plus one to Dexterity. Congratulations, Gilgamesh! At 5th level, you already get 2 attacks thanks to Eldritch Blast. 3 attacks, 1 normal and 2 blasts at 6th level. 4 attacks, 1 normal and 3 blasts at 11th level. 6 attacks, 2 normal and 4 blasts at... 17th level. Yes, that's right. Unlike the potential build I might put out in the future, this actually gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Quite literally. But we're not done yet. Now remember fighter, action surge that for another turn to attack and blast. Remember metamagic adept, quick and spelled for another set of blasts. They'll do take a note here. Last three levels you can put into anything, literally anything. Ideally into sorcerer to get more mileage out of your sorcery points. 
Bam, 16 attacks. That's it. See ya. Go crack down on this excellent build.